Stratified here, and today we're going to be installing the Cobb Axis port on our 997.2 turbo. So the first thing that you want to do when you do an initial installation is that you want the battery charger. So this initial installation, it takes a lot longer than the usual map flash, which really doesn't require a battery charger. Uh, and for, for that reason, making sure that you have enough battery to complete the installation, you want to have it um, connected to a charger. After this, you want to make sure that you, um, you actually have the access port installed. So the access port comes with a cable, an OBD cable, and what we've done is we've actually really tucked it away here. Uh, here's the, the plug, it's exposed from the factory so there's no, uh, it's very easy to get to and you don't really need to have the access port installed all the time or plugged in all the time. You can just kind of flash it and take it out. But we have this in here because we're going to be doing a lot of development so we wanted more of a permanent install. The other reason that you might want a more permanent install is because you can view a lot of parameters, gauges, and so on on the access port. So if you're the kind of person that really enjoys that and needs that information, then uh, by all means, uh, mount the access port nicely. We, we use direct fit mount here and it really ran the cable and tucked it away. So now that we're in the vehicle, um, we are we're in the main menu of the access port. Now the 997.2, you have the ability to uh, get a ECU tune, a PDK tune, or uh, both. And in this case, we have both on this vehicle. The PDK calibration is already installed on the vehicle, and uh, that's why we have all these options. If we hadn't installed the access port at all, and this was the first time we plugged it in the car, we just have the troubleshooting menu, which is right there, uh, and would have an install menu. So in this case, we already have the PDK installed on there, so it gives us a few more options for gauges and so on. That we'll cover in a later video, and actually we've covered it for other vehicles, the kind of options and the kind of things that you, you can uh, do with the access port. But anyways, let's move on to the installation. So here, we go under the tune menu, and this is, once again, because we don't have the ECU install uh, done. Um, and we do have the PDK one, otherwise it would just be an install menu. Uh, ECU install is what we select from here and here we want to make sure that the key is on in the vehicle so that uh, so that we can communicate with it here it's complaining that it's not able to communicate with it and let's uh, try that one more time now it's recognized the vehicle 3.8 liter TT and we go ahead and hit OK on that and here is where we choose the initial map. So with our custom tuning, we'll provide uh, you guys, the customers, with the uh, you know maps and revisions to those maps to really fine tune for your fuel and your modifications and your specific car. However, on the initial install, you you need to provide us some information about the ECU and the access port, and we often ask you to install a stage zero map. Stage zero map, which is that right there, is a factory Porsche map for the your particular vehicle. So you might be wondering why do I even have this option? Why do I want the stage zero map? Well, actually, once you install this uh, this map, you get a lot of features from the access port, such as data logging and live parameter viewing. So that's uh, you know often something that that you want. Let's see how the car performs on a on a stage zero map on a stock map, and still have that data logging and viewing capability. The rest of the calibrations in here for for uh, our demo here are. Uh, Cobb calibrations. You always have Cobb OTS calibrations available to you with every access port. And on top of that, you'd have the calibrations that we'd provide, which would be the stratified calibrations. You'd see that in the file name. So we're just going to choose for this demonstration a stage 191 tune. And we're going to hit OK. The next menu asks you uh, if you want to save the OEM data. Now, what does this mean? The the Cobb access port already has OEM data for this particular vehicle that it will put back on the car when you uninstall this access port. Uh, however, if you want to save the exact data from this particular vehicle, then it'll take a little bit longer and uh, and 30 minutes longer to, to be exact, but you can put the exact data back on. Uh, this vehicle is out of warranty. We don't really have to worry about that. So we're going to skip this step, but you can go ahead and as long as you have a charger on there because you, you need to be saving that data for about 30 minutes, uh, you, can, you can hit the continue button. So we're going to go skip. It's going to confirm with us one more time that we don't want to uh, save the stock data, which we do not. 
once again the export has stock data on it so um, only if you want the specific data from your specific car so you can hit OK uh, battery um, charger is recommended of course and then we can go ahead and start the installation and uh, throughout this installation here uh, you're going to be uh, viewing a progress bar and uh, this can take take a little while here to, to progress through uh, but it's usually quite quick and subsequent map uh, flashes like I mentioned are going to be even shorter so uh, yeah this is essentially how the access port is installed once this is completed you'll be asked to cycle the key uh, and just follow the prompts on the screen and your access port is installed in your Porsche